my dad teached me a lot of about working with um, machines and stuff like that and he have a big garage with all stuff you can have in it <laughs> so we always fixed our cars on ourselves and never went to a garage my name is Alex I come from Munich Germany and I'm living in Switzerland Basel because of my wife I guess I'm the only shaper. I've never heard about another one. There's a small surf community. I mean, we are landlocked. That's pretty hard to get in touch. I mean, you cannot meet at the beach. We were still traveling and hanging in, I think it was South Africa, when I said, okay, when we come back home, I want to have a, a shaping bay again. They asked me the question, is, is building a surfboard noisy or take it some smell? And I said, yeah, both. <laughs> and I said, okay, we got, I got another plate for you where you can build your surfboards and feel totally free. And then they said, they have a garage on Dreispitz. And I said, that's perfect. I'm just living around there. Actually, this garage or my small factory <laughs> um, we call it the bay because it's the shaping bay and it's like a social meeting point in summer we're sitting here and then having beers or just chilling and i'm working and they chilling and sometimes we have barbecue and even we could do a fondue <laughs> that was the first moment i surfed in my life there was a really small wave of tall like that and it was the first moment and at that moment I fell in love totally with surfing. The whole life changed for surfing. Everything you do is for surfing. You plan every holiday for surfing and even you go work for surfing because you need money for travel and surfboards and stuff and gear like you're doing and you always plan the whole year for surfing. It starts as a little kid, I took a plain wood and just cut it out and put in some nails and then a sail and that was my sailboat and I put it on the river. So that's where I start the crafty things. And so at that point I always try to do things on my own. My favorite part is definitely shaping. Like you take a scratch, you take a really not that beautiful blank and you start building your match in your minds. It's like some kind of art, you doing curves and they have to blend and have to be um, symmetrical and that's what I love about the shaping. Then I was um, with my wife traveling and we decided to go to Australia and there was a shaper in Sydney. I think two weeks later we sit on a plane going to Australia. As I already knew some, knew some basics at that point, I went there and it was like a really big step for me because I learned really shaping. The boards before they were quite okay, but it wasn't that good like today or like after this workshop. Yeah, I met my wife in Portugal surfing. Actually, we had beer, yeah. <laughs> and after a couple of months, I decided, okay, I had a really bad job and I said, okay, let's, let's go. That nothing really holds me. And I said, okay, I'm just moving to you. She was like, okay, no. <laughs> but in the end, I, st I moved to Basel and that's why I end up here. And um, then we traveled and after travel, we said, okay, we got totally no money. Where to go? Yes, yeah, Switzerland. Totally. We need money, so let's go. I mean, every shape of a surfboard is for a different kind of surfing. So my wife is a longboarder. She loves longboards and she loves like dancing on the board and, and I'm more the shortboard guy. So that's why I mainly build shortboards.
I really fell in love with Australia, <laughs> but it's too far away from my family. And I mean, I spent so many time in Portugal. Um, definitely, that's where I want to get old. It's cozy, it's relaxed, it's got pretty good waves and good lifestyle, I think, yeah. Actually, I think it's not possible to really live as a full-time shaper in Switzerland or in Basel. I mean, the community is too small and the customers are not that big. Now, I want to be a full-time shaper and I want to have my own factory and business and not that big like the big brands just for living and just have a good life and building supports. That's what I want to do. We also said we have to move to the ocean. We want to, to grow up our kids on the ocean. Um, so I think we're planning the babies on the ocean, <laughs> yeah. I think I wouldn't uh, be that hard in love with surfing if there was just this one moment. Actually, the best moments, I think, in surfing are the biggest waves or best maneuvers. It's like you're sitting on the water and it's maybe sunset or dawn and you're sitting with friends and having a chat and sharing waves. I mean, that's the best of surfing. <laughs>